Hello and welcome to Victor George Leather Goods YouTube videos. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how I draw from cardstock a classic uh, knife scabbard. It's uh, the traditional style where you incorporate a safety strap and a fold over back. I'm going to show you in real time how I draw this and uh, then I'm gonna leave you with a blank canvas for you to do your own artistic version. So the final product looks like this. At least this came from the pattern directly uh, that we're gonna draw. So again, it's somewhat traditional, um, typical scabbard looking knife sheath with a keeper strap. And um, I incorporate uh, a little bit different of a um, scabbard face. I'll show you that here in the description of this knife uh, sheath a little bit more before we get started, like I said, in real time drawing this pattern. Should take about 15 minutes. So anyway, stick around if you're new to the craft and you want to learn or see how somebody else draws a pattern for this. We'll do it. All right. Thank you. Okay, before we actually get started on the pattern process, um, let's do a quick little overview of this um, uh, classic style sheath. So the keeper strap itself, first of all, is uh, pointed this way on a right-hand sheath. I guess the theory of that is that if you're going through a brush, it won't unsnap. Um, again, it's, it's pretty traditional, pretty standard. But anyway, the difference that uh, I incorporate is what I call a box or a sandwich style sheath. If you'll notice here on the sheath face, it has um, two pieces. Um, the welt is not directly attached to the back strap. The reason for that is it keeps the knife handle slightly away from the back strap and doesn't dig in. It, it's a nice feature. It also gives the knife a little bit of a shelf to sit in. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how I draw this pattern. Thanks. All right, let's get into this. So um, the first thing that uh, I need to share with you is I use uh, a full sheet poster board cardstock, um, and then I cut it into four inch sections with a two inch center line for reference only. So I'm gonna put um, the sheath components in green to try to help separate uh, what exactly is the sheath itself. So start with a very good tracing of your knife. Keep the pencil uh, perpendicular to the edge and, um, and get a true representation of the knife itself. So in this case, you'll notice the upswept blade. Um, I center line it pretty much onto the blade and on the pommel. So once you have a tracing of your knife, the very first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the knife and I'm gonna get the blade length. So from the half guard here to the tip of the knife blade is four and a quarter inches. So I'm gonna take a ruler and I'm gonna go four and a quarter inches from the tip to the half guard. So I'll take a ruler here at four and a half inches and I'll set the line on the center line, and from the tip itself, I will go four and a quarter inches. Okay, everything's lined up, everything looks straight. So this is the top of your sheath. Again, green will represent the actual um, sheath pattern itself. So I'm just gonna extend this, but I'm always keeping the lines on the center line to keep them true. That represents the top of your sheath. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, this is the way I do it, to get the shape of the sheath face, I use one of these uh, grid template rulers. Um, you can use wing dividers, you can use a ruler to measure it out. In this particular pattern, I'm gonna go with a half inch welt or seam allowance, whatever you wanna call it, because I'm gonna have a double row of stitching. 
If you want single row stitching, you can do a 3 8 inch weld. But anyway, this is how I do it. So I take my ruler, notice the swells of this knife. It's not your typical straight or drop point. And then I will go from the swell and I will put my half inch mark directly on that. As you can see here, it's all lined up. And I'm just gonna come from there to here. And now I'm just going to take my half inch mark on the ruler and I'm gonna put it on the edge of the blade itself. And I'm just gonna do little swipes like this. Keeping that half inches. And what this does for me, I've been doing it like this forever, um, is it gives me a shadow line or a fog line, whatever you want to call it. As I'm going around the edge of the blade, it's literally going to draw the shape that I need for when I finally cut this out. Okay, I can't do anything left-handed, so I'm going to turn this around. And I'm going to continue around. Following that half-inch guide, I'm gonna come up here to the swell because this has a sweeping belly. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna follow this inside line because uh, if I were to follow that seam allowance up there, you wouldn't be able to pull the knife out. So from that swell, you're just gonna go straight up. Keep these cross lines, these horizontal lines, <coughs> excuse me, keep these um, horizontal lines straight up and just draw straight up, okay? So from the uh, edge of the knife blade itself, I'm going to go up from the very edge of it, keeping my vertical lines on the reference line. Okay, so basically, that is your welt. Okay, so the reason for not going here is, as you can see, the belly of the blade, if I were to go up through there, you wouldn't be able to get it out. So this way you can pull the knife out. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is we need to establish some more reference lines. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up from the corners of the sheath face and I'm gonna come all the way up here uh, given myself some reference lines. So continuing with this red as my reference line, I will make sure that all of my vertical and horizontal lines are true because if they're not, um, that'll translate to the sheath itself and we don't want that. So we want everything true. So just draw that up. And again, I can't do anything left hand. <laughs> So I will come from this corner up. I'll take a second here to make sure all my lines are perpendicular. And I'm gonna go up here, okay? Now that's our reference line. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna incorporate our back strap. And the way I do that is I go in from these two reference lines in one half inch. And this will be part of the sheet, so I will do it in green. So I take my see-through graph ruler, keeping all the lines correct. See, I'm gonna need to go higher, so I'll take a longer ruler. So from the half inch mark, from here, I'm gonna go up, okay? Again, green representing the sheath itself. Now I'm going to come from this side here, go in half inch from the corner of that sheath, make sure my lines are good, and I'm going to draw it up here. Okay, so now I have the back strap in progress. So the next thing I want to do is I want to establish where I'm going to put my safety strap. So. In this particular case, I'm gonna go right at the center, right at the swell of the knife handle, 
Um, you can put it low if you want. I have a tendency to think that that gets in the way a little bit. And if it's, a, if it's too high, um, I'm not a big fan of that either. But anyway, compromise, I'll go in the center. So now what I'm gonna do is from the green sheath face, I'm gonna go in. First of all, I'm gonna draw a line at the base of where I want the start of the slots. So just wherever the swell starts, take my ruler, keep them all on line, and I'm just gonna go. This is a, a reference line only. So I'm gonna go here. That is where my keeper strap is gonna start. So from that, I'm gonna go from that green line again, I'm gonna go three eighths of an inch. For this particular sheet, that works perfect for me. Okay, and I'm gonna do a little three quarter inch line here. And then I'm gonna go three eighths of an inch from this line. And I'm gonna do a three quarter inch. Okay, those are my slots. Now I'll go ahead and cut them out so you can visualize that a little bit more. And just take a slot punch and put it on the base of that line, straight up and down. Cut that one out and cut this one out. Okay, so now you have your slot position. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna determine the fold over area. So I like the fold over below the end of the knife handle, somewhere in this area here. So again, this is all preference. There's no science or anything to this art. So we're gonna draw a line, say right here. Again, at nauseum, keep all your lines perpendicular and horizontal, and I'm just gonna go basically here. This is gonna be my fold line. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to determine a distance where the tip, eventually I'll draw that here in a minute. Um, uh, there, there's uh, one thing that, uh, that I, got to draw in there, but it's okay, we can do it now, is from this corner to the green line, take your radius templus, template and draw in a nice soft curve there and just come over here to this side. From that corner of the sheath face to that green line, um, draw in another one, all right? So now it's starting to look like a sheath. So now I need to determine where I want the tip of the um, back strap to come down at the back of the sheath. So I usually go about a quarter, uh, inch and a quarter. I'm not gonna measure it. It's gonna be somewhere around here. That little tick mark is gonna represent a measurement point. So I'm gonna go from this tick to the fold line and this is going to give me You know, just basically four inches. So now to transfer that to the back strap, I'm gonna go from the fold line and I'm gonna go about four and a quarter inches. I'm gonna add a quarter of an inch for the leather thickness. And I'm gonna put a little tick mark right there. So this is going to be the top of your sheath. Now, just for uh, making it easy for me, what I do is I just draw a straight line across that. For no other reasons, to give me a visual aid. Okay, I can cut off the top of this. We're starting to look more like a sheath now. So now I'm gonna take this radius again. I'm gonna draw in a soft English point, and I'm gonna go from this center line point on the back strap to this other um, green line here. And I'm gonna draw in a soft point. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Not real clear there.
Okay, so that is my English point. Now it's nothing more than cutting out all your green lines on the outside of the face, and that is your sheath pattern. Okay? Thank you. Okay, a little final overview. Um, so once you have your pattern drawn out, if you'll notice here at the end, um, uh, my fog line is a little bit jagged. If you want to, just take your pen and uh, smooth that transition out before you cut the pattern out. And then once you get the pattern cut out, you'll get quality eight to 10 ounce veg tan leather, nice firm, and you'll cut out your main back piece first. So you take the full pattern and you cut out your back piece. And uh, think about that for just a second before you cut it out, um, right hand versus left hand. Sometimes my brain fights me on that. So think about that, cut that out. And then you're gonna take your pattern piece, you're gonna separate the front face of the sheath. You're gonna cut one out for the front. You're gonna reverse that pattern, and cut a second one out same size, and then you're gonna separate your welt from your pattern piece. All three pattern pieces come from the same drawing. Then what you do is you work on this front. Obviously, you can carve, stamp, uh, set your stitch lines in here based on a half inch welt, and uh, sandwich that all together, finish the edges, uh, glue it all together like in this package right here, True up your edges a little bit, and once you have that completed, then you'll take your back piece, you'll fold it to the back, you'll stitch that down, and then once that's stitched down, you'll take your box, then you glue the whole thing to the back, and that is your sandwiched boxed sheath. Okay, obviously we're gonna incorporate our three quarter inch strap. And this is the final result that I achieved from this pattern. Okay, love to see what you guys do with this. So hope you enjoyed this. Thank you. Okay, we are done. See how you drew the pattern, the final sheath from this basic pattern. And uh, now the blank canvas is up to you to uh, decorate and make as uh, however you like. So please hit the subscribe button, leave a comment if you'd like, hit the bell button. Uh, you can see I'm still new to all of this, but anyway, I plan on doing more of these and um, stay along for the ride. Thank you.